Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. We are taking a look, we are here at the Fort Myers RV Show, taking a look at what fifth wheel brands that they have to offer. And let me tell you something, the Class C's were awesome from yesterday's video, but the amount of towable units that the Fort Myers store was able to pick up instantly from uh, opening up a store here is unbelievable. So the first one's gonna be this Brinkley 3400. Will, look at this awesome rear patio. I love it. What do you think about this? A, a fifth wheel with a patio that's not a toy hauler? Right. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's just so weird, but I love the concept here. You can take a little peek back here. So in doing that, you also kind of get this little outdoor, not kitchen, but entertainment center. I mean, I guess you could call it a little outdoor kitchen. I, I would call it a little outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Here's all the different floor plans. I believe we have the 3100 here. 3400 and the 3610. Okay. There's also some Model G's. <clears throat> and then hang on, Will. Go on on the inside. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can. Oh. Here, just Here. you can get down. I'm not showing it. Yeah. Gotta stop the Brinkley police from calling on us. Yeah. All right. Check it out. You you know what you know what it is, America. <laughs> The pricing was so good at Tampa. We, we literally got calls. We literally got the Brinkley police called us. Yep. And let me tell you something. If I was selling this unit, I'd call on me too. Would you? You know why? Why? Because this unit is freaking awesome. It is. So we got a glass door back here with the patio. Look at this huge residential refrigerator. Yep. <clears throat> Solid surface countertops. A huge kitchen area, which is fantastic. And then we'll show everybody this awesome okay. table setup. So I love this table setup. By the way, the best yeah. I've ever seen. Because um, like with this layout, if it was a normal table coming out, it could get tight. This way, it's in. Oops. Or you pull it out if you need more people. Okay. It doesn't stop there. You can also slide it this way. Bam, dude. And all the way the other way once you move the chair. Damn, dude. I love that. And there's hidden storage. I forgot. <clears throat> right there. That is such an awesome feature. Then over here in the middle living room area, we got the TV right here with a fireplace. Nice theater seats right here with your sofa and storage above there. And then, uh, come on, Will. Go stand in that shower. Okay. Now we make jokes, but Brinkley definitely is one of our absolute favorites. Yeah. They've come out swinging so hard in the RV industry. Nice and on course shower, plenty of width, depth, and the height is great, especially with this little uh, skylight. This definitely passes, bing! You know, we're here at an RV show at a spring training facility for the Red Sox. Yep. And that's, I think, a great analogy. They came out swinging like David Ortiz. There you know what you I'm go. saying? They weren't no um, Ichiro Suzuki just trying to get on base All and right. have their little footprint in the RV industry. And, you know, if you get on base enough times, you'll eventually make it to the Hall of Fame like Ichiro. Nope. They came out and smashed this RV industry, and it's just destroying it. Yep. Huge windows, huge saw. Uh, Huge storage, huge uh, king bed in here. Yeah. Plenty of wardrobe space. Well, I'm not gonna tell everybody how many General RV sold. Right. Because the competition's gonna watch this video, and you know what they're gonna say? What? BS. Yep. They won't even believe it. Here's something else I won't. I don't believe. What's that? Put the camera down while you're walking outside, sir. Outside. Right, got it. Oh, we gotta show this really quick. Oh. From this side. Here's that patio from this side. You have little dog station, storage, and then here's a better look of that outside kitchen here. Very, very nice out here. I love this. Oh, and I forgot, this is an access door so you can store stuff in there while driving. Yeah, we definitely will have a full review of this unit coming yep. soon. Uh, I would do it here at this show, but we got the porta potties on that side. Right. Okay. So, I got it. It's fine. You got it. Yeah. It's okay. not. It, it doesn't pick it up that easily. Good. Here's what is hard to believe. As nice as that Brinkley is, at only maybe a third of the price. Yeah. Maybe not a third, but forty percent of the price. 
is this phenomenal Keystone Arcadia. Yeah. $34,999 sale price. This is a fifth wheel. It is small and lightweight. $52,832 discounted to $34,999. Yep. Wow. Nice rear kitchen. The lights are on, Will. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got the solar. Yep. Look at this. Look behind you real quick. Yeah, I showed that. Really nice kitchen, real kitchen, especially for this select model. Yep. Like, this kitchen's very nice. Yep. Right here we do have a sofa. And then the sofa does sit directly across from your dinette area, TV, tons of storage right up there. Cool. Now there's no way we'll fit in the shower in this. No, they always do it right in here. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I will be. Dang, Will. <laughs> this is actually a great shower. Wow. Because it's not a radius. Really good width and depth. And they even put the shower curtain in. That's like, oh no, that's just straight. I thought it curved. But still, this definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. You got your porcelain toilet. And make sure you guys pick up some liquefied. Open that up, Will. Womp womp. We don't have any ready. Man. Womp womp. It's like, it's like we don't own our own business or something. Well, All right. And then in here to help with the size is the north to south bed. Not only that, it helps with the pin weight as well. It does. Because there's no slide out. Still very easy. I still have good head height space. If you're somebody like Will, it might be a little shorter for you. But still really, really good. And you got storage above there. Okay. Very Will, we're only two down. We got I know. more to see. You gotta speed it up. Where to next? Brinkley's or? No, no. We're, we're, we're just gonna do like one them. of everything. Yeah. Yeah, just don't show the price. Okay. Okay. So again, we have the 3100 here. Okay. 3610. Oh, this is the next one. Well, this Alliance Avenue Paradigm with the full body paint. Avenue, not Paradigm. Oh my goodness, even better in Avenue with the full body paint. 74999 with the full body paint that's crazy and well do you do you miss your floor plan a little bit yeah i like this floor plan so this is a unit that will and jen used to full time in but i will say i also miss the lighter interior ah yes you know that and was a big deciding factor new darker interior yeah let me tell you something well this is a nice floor plan it is you have your theater seats directly across from the TV fireplace. A very nice sofa here that comes out to make a bed. Show us this kitchen wall. Okay. What did you love about this unit? Well, I loved um, having countertop space on both sides of the oven. The biggest love was having this kitchen island. Talk to me. Tons of prep space, and I just loved the uh, flow in here. You know, if I'm here cooking, Jen or whoever can get to the fridge, the pantry, all that's really nice. The flow on the tree in here is so well. Yeah. Which unfortunately in Will's unit, which we'll actually go into next, okay. coincidentally, the flow on tree isn't as good yeah. as what this unit was. Yep. And then coming on up here, here's what is definitely better. The um the bathroom definitely is better in your current unit. Yeah. And the bedroom is double definitely and the better than your current unit. Or um, your current unit's better than this unit. Yeah, so pros and cons to both. Let's go straight into that paradigm. Okay. That's funny to have both floor plans back to back. While we're doing that, you can see that we do have an Avenue All Access Series at $49.9, sale price. And then look at this, this is the exact same one Will has, yes. a 382 RK at $96,999. Yep. Now make sure, Will and Jen's unit was more money MSRP than this unit. Right. Because Will and Jen had a couple of uh, big upgrades. Yeah. You guys are gonna wanna check out their unit. Did we ever review that on my channel or no, just yours? I don't know. Yeah, we should review it on my channel. Yeah. 
But I mean, Will and Jen's channel, that video has done very well. It has, that's my number one video. It's your number one video? Yep. Show us this rear kitchen. Okay, and what we were talking about with the flow in here, this is where it feels like it bottlenecks a little bit more. It's also kind of our fault we put the trash can here. Okay. Respectfully. Um, but um, yeah, it's just like the kitchen's a big gathering area as well. You know, people getting snacks, yeah. using the microwave. Well, we get so excited, we don't even let Jen bring out the food. We just start right. eating it in the kitchen. Start devouring. So yeah, it just bottlenecks a little bit in here, but it's not, you know, it's still a very good floor plan. I love having the big fridge, the pantry. Um, it's still a great floor plan. Cool. Something else that we this love is, is having the three sofas. Yeah, this is a lot better because you know, you don't really like, there's nothing to flow here, you just chill. But yeah, you have the three sofas. It's definitely roomy in here, so I love that. Something that I don't like, I don't like Will and Jen's dinette. Yeah. Um, it does we've not fit about, well. It, do, it actually doesn't, and we've talked about it, and we really need to like flip it. Yep. We're hardly sitting at the dinette, so it'd make a better desk that way, to be honest. Right, well, I mean, false. Like, you are sitting at the dinette, but as a desk, yeah. not as a dinner topper. So, right, yes, I right. agree with you. Now, here's where it gets better, okay? Well, First, the half bath, which we didn't think we would even really use or like that much. We love having the half bath. Why is that? It's just nice to have. It's because you don't let me in your bathroom, sir. Uh -oh. So I got to use the half bath. And being a non-paying customer in your RV, it is pretty nice. It is. So this is a huge plus to our new floor plan. You guys can see how roomy it is in here. You have two slides in here. So um, nice king size bed, plenty of room. Yeah. Very nice. And then again, we have a slide in the bathroom. Wow. Oh, they changed the countertops. I like these better. Oh, trade trade it in. Trade yeah. it in. Remember, we have the epoxy board. Mm. Which I didn't mind, but I do like this a lot better. So, but you guys can see how much more room there is in this bathroom than that Avenue wow. 32 or less. Much bigger shower and a really big walk-in closet here. Wow. So, and we did auction it with the washer and dryer. Very nice. Nice standing encore shower right there. Yep. Uh, toilet. I know that's a prime poop position because when yeah. Will's not in the RV, I secretly uh, <laughs> take I, I take my dumps in uh, his front bathroom and nice. not my mid bathroom, and it's really really nice. Yes. Now here's the fun part. Mm -hmm. Your RV catches on fire. Mm -hmm. Do you automatically buy another 382, or do you possibly think about a 32 RLS? Like, is it an easy decision, or would you have to think about it? Well, um, I can say an easy decision is we probably wouldn't do the 32 RLS again. Oh, okay. Um, but we do like a lot of the paradigm features. With that kitchen bottlenecking, Jen and I used to like to cook more. Um, and we don't hardly cook in there anymore. Um, so, so maybe you'd go to like the paradigm 310, which is like right, that floor plan, but right. these features. Or the new 375. I haven't gotten to check that out. Yeah, we haven't gotten to see but one of those yet. Really cool on paper. Yep. So, yeah. Cool. But no matter what, you would stay in the Alliance family. I think so. Yeah. yeah, me too. All right, come on down, Will. Okay. With that said, there is a lot of other phenomenal brands. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what I like to tell people. Like, we helped somebody the other day or yesterday buy a primetime Santa Bell. Yep. They're like, but it's not an Alliance. And I'm like, but Alliance doesn't have a floor plan like this. Yeah, it's still great. And, floor yeah, plan. exactly. It's so, still a great unit. Let's check out that unit. Okay. Think that ice is gonna make it all day, Will? <laughs> all right. What's going on, brother? How's it going? Rocking and rolling. Hello. So next one we got up is this Crusader okay. 265 MLE. We actually haven't even seen this one yet. Okay. Let's check out the inside. <laughs> oh wow! I love these colors in here. Let me see it. I don't think the light. Nope, no lights. Nice couch. I really like the colors in here. You got the two-tone in the kitchen. What do you think of the colors? I like it. Yeah. Looks just like the, the Nexus. It kind of does, yeah. Which again is a compliment now. It is. So really good size kitchen in the back for the size trailer. Sand look you call it. Yeah, it's not really sand. But it's like but... the white sand beaches. Yeah. Yep. Nice 
pretty good sized dinette here. Storage underneath, huge pantry. Well, this is a new segment of the fifth wheel industry. Yeah. People want small, people want light. You they know do, what for sure. They want short lengths, but they still want a fifth wheel. Yeah. You get to see this? Oh, the oh, lights kicked nice. on. Oh, no, I don't know why I didn't open that. Very nice. A little more like a little coffee nook right there. Nice shower, good toilet placement, and you can see that vanity here. And then up front, there we go. You have a nice queen size bed here, closet on a slide, storage all the way around. They did a really good job with the decor in here. I love it. Cool. You ready? Yep. So we're just gonna skip over the Wildcats because this guy doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> oh, <God. Come> on. <laughs> so this is a Paradigm and another Crusader. We are gonna skip over these. Okay. But you can share the price well. 395DS for $99,999. And then right here. Uh, Crusader 395BHL for $65,999. And then we are gonna take a look at the Wildcats. Okay. Oh, they broke out the cornhole. They broke out the cornhole. Do you know that these cornhole boards come with the fifth wheel? Yes. Because they, they actually, they serve as the base of the dinette. Right. Love that. Back up, Will. Okay. You ready? Yep. Hold on. One, two. Nope. There it is. Oh, nope. Oh, man. It's all good. Let's check out the inside. Okay. This is a 39QB floor plan, and it's only 57999 Wow. That is phenomenal. 57999 for a great floor plan, too. And this is one of their biggest floor plans that they make. Yep. Let me see. Uh, four slide outs, Will. And wait until you see that huge bunk area. Huge U-shaped dinette. I love these cushions on it as well. Well, you heard of toy haulers? Yeah. It's a kid hauler. It sure is. It's going to be dark in here, though. It's okay. Okay. Dude, it's real dark in here. It is. So you got a bed there Show that real quick. pulls out. Entertainment center. Couch there. I think you can see it okay. And that's a Murphy bed. A Murphy bed that I comes know. down. And then back here is that second full bathroom, not just a half bath. And you do have a door that leads to the outside, which I love. It's a laminate unit as well, Will. And to uh, have this with all these slide outs, big <clears throat> U-shaped dinette, nice sofa with the TV. Now you guys might be looking at this living area being like, man, this isn't great for families. But again, yeah. this is for the people that need to sleep a ton of people. Right. You know, you got to make sacrifices to your exactly. living room area. And then check out that master bedroom and okay. bathroom. And here's what I love. Even though it's a small unit, you still get a really good size uh, master bedroom. Yeah. Huge bath or huge uh, shower in here. Good toilet placement, but I can tell it's plastic. And then, again, it's going to be dark in here. But you still have a king size bed. Good closet space. Nice uh, closet with washer and dryer prep. What? I mean, at fifty-seven nine nine nine, I yeah. don't want to say I'm fine with a plastic toilet. Yeah. But at that price, I can switch out to a porcelain toilet. You yeah, know what I'm I saying? I agree. Like every everything is not everything. It's all about what everything is divided by the price point. Right. Well, we got a lot more fifth wheels to see, and before we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. <laughs> It's officially 2024, and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are going to be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry-level travel trailer or a top-of-the-line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just going to take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee and they'll ship it straight to your house 
or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my Class C motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMatches.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. Perfect, and we're back. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so next one's another prime time. And I believe this is one of the units that we sold. Oh, wow. This is that front bunk one. No, it's not. No? Oh, it is bunks, yeah. But it's also like an office area. Very unique. This unit 69.9. And this is the unit that we did help the customers with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. This is the one we sold yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a few of at the show, I think. Oh, yeah. This one just killed it. Yeah. Look at this awesome front bunk. Did we do a review on this yet? I don't think we've done a full review, no. Yeah, we, we need, need to. to. Yeah, this one is phenomenal. It's also like a desk <clears throat> area, which is super nice. Also has like an entertainment center. I'll tell you something else that's probably really nice about this is uh, the pin weights, I bet, a lot lower than a front living. Yeah, and a half bath. Oh my god. There you go. Did you look at that? Not only that, Will. Oh! Oh, 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 oh I almost opened me a prime time, Will. <laughs> look at this. Five, so the, five, five seat. theater seats. Wow. Five seat theater seat, I guess. Huge living room area. Nice kitchen island, nice TV. You wanna know what's crazy? What? I don't feel like it's a small living room area. No, it's it's really not. Not like a traditional toy hauler. You know where we saw this, I think, was um open house. Oh yeah. These are very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And then here's what's cool, Will. It's this master bedroom here with a fireplace, king size bed. Look at that head height in here. Yeah. So that's one thing I really like about this floor plan is a lot of times the bedrooms up front and like your head height is really low. Yeah. You know, for somebody tall like me, it's so nice having this huge closet space. Open it, Will. Amer well, not that huge. Not, it's not deep. deep, but not deep. Yeah. This is where you would uh, mount a TV right there. Yep. And then go back there, Will. Okay. And then again, with that head space in the bathroom, even though this isn't like, I mean, it's a really good sized bathroom, but in addition to that, having that head height just helps it feel not so tight. Yep. You're going to have a washer dryer prep right here. A good size shower, double sinks here. Really nice mm. big size vanity. I love the colors in here. And then more closet space right there. Yes. Right yes. Toilet position. And that is a prime poop position, Will. yes. Perfect. You ready to check out more? Yeah. We are rolling today, sir. Okay. We got a lot more to see. We do. It's very exciting to see. So, again, Fort Myers is our brain. Okay, so first and foremost, if you guys are seeing something that you like. Hold eh, on. Not, yeah. yeah. You're not even on. Well, you're not even on. Yes, I am. It's eh. just not perfect. There, there you go. go. If you guys see something you like here at the show and you can't make it to the Fort Myers show, click our link down below. And that even works for stuff that we don't represent here at the show. Right. Whatever you see that you like, contact my internet team down below. They will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Okay? That's one. Two, it's so amazing. Like, we didn't acquire anybody. Right. General just said we're opening up shop, and then to get Alliance and Brinkley and Primetime and Wildcat and all these different brands that we're able to see... Day one of being open in business, that's pretty for It is. Yes, yeah, I agree. Cool. Let's take a look at some more. Okay. Actually, I think all we got left is toy haulers. Okay. Because here's another prime time. Yep. Oh, we got the impress. Oh, no, we got some more. Okay. We got a story of. Oh, yeah. Milestone. Big country, okay. Yeah. So 230 ml. You want me to take a look at that? Um. Uh, yeah, take a look, look at that one. That's 39.9. Wow, 39.9 for a fifth wheel. This is very similar floor plan with that rear kitchen. Uh, sorry, dinette right here. 
you have your fridge, theater seats, that pantry right here, little coffee nook. And then right here you have your sink. Really good size shower here. And truthfully, if I can show you, not a great toilet place, and it's a little too close to that wall there. And then coming up front into the bedroom, queen size bed, closet space, nice windows. I love how it's nice and bright in here. Tons of storage, and you can add a second AC unit right there. There's the other windows there. Okay. Are we doing this one next? <laughs> we are not. Okay. So look at the price of this big country. $79,999. Okay. Oh no, this is Yukon. I don't want to walk in that. They just vacuum it out. Right. Check it out over here. $79,999. Oh, this is the floor plan we love. Yes. And then we got a void up there. They got some music playing. Okay. Very nice. No, this isn't the one that we loved. The one that we loved wasn't in a big country or was it this one? No, yeah, it was it this. Was this one? Yeah. Okay, okay. See, Very nice. Good rear kitchen design. Yep. Residential refrigerator. Very nice pantry. Tabletop right <clears> here. <throat> yep. With flush floor. Two sofas instead of three. Right. It makes it bigger. It makes it open. Stand right here, sir. Where? Oh. Right there. It makes it bigger. It makes it open. It makes it feel a little bit better. Yeah. It makes it feel a little bit more spacious. You know what I'm saying? It flows differently than having that third additional sofa. Right. Now, that third additional sofa is very nice. It is. There's always pros and cons. Oh, and this unit doesn't have two baths it has one bath right prep for a stackable washer dryer there you have your very big encore shower dedicated stool room which is Just very toilet. nice yeah. yeah double sink mm -hmm. dual vessel and then in here king size bed 200 percent more drawers pull out laundry hamper Really, really nice. Nice unit. TV already in here. Fireplace in the bedroom. I love that too. And again, the units <clears> that <throat> compare with this brand, they're what ninety thousand. Yeah. So there is definitely a lot of bang for the buck here. There is. What was this again? Seventy nine. Yeah. And then, yeah, there, the, he's cleaning out the Portera. And there's music down there, so we'll come down this way. Okay. Come on, Sir William. Unfortunately, with music and copyright, we can't. Hello, Greg. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good, thanks. We can't be showing everything and right. everybody, you know? But we can go to the toy haulers. Okay. And we got the uh, four server impression. Okay. And the Delta, too. That's a nice one. Well, the Delta, people are going to have to wait for the Delta because oh that's on Travel Trailer Day. Look at the Delta. It's Alliance. It's <laughs> huge. Check this one out, Will. It's the impression. Yeah, this, this is one of their bigger floor plants. We, uh, haven't even gotten to do yet. <clears throat> and it's the View Series. Yep. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is cool. It's kind of weird. I'm trying to, like, like, is it good or bad? definitely cramped in here. It's a little cramped, yeah. You have a nice lounge here. Hold on, let me back up a little. Nice, like, lounge here. Yeah, it's cramped in here. That's a good word. Nice TV, fireplace, sound system. Okay. In and bunk room. This is why it's cramped, Will. It is. Very cool. That's another uh, bed up there. Storage here. Cool. It but also, I think they should have just pushed this against the wall, and that would have helped a lot. Definitely, possibly. But then, you know, Kitchen Island. Pros yeah. and cons, you know, they're they're learning with these view floor plans. For sure. And this is what people are asking for. They're asking for the big windows. Oh, yeah. They're asking for the secret bunk rooms. So, these are doing very, very well. They are. Coming upstairs. 
Great size shower in here. Awesome toilet placement. Right there. And this has the versatile bed. Nice, okay. Um, sink, vanity, and medicine cabinet. And then, yeah, here's that versatile bed. You can see it up. I really like that because you don't have to have it tilted, but when it is tilted, you get so much more space in here. Nice closet with washer and dryer prep. Tons of storage in here, looks awesome. And then you even have a window up front adding to that view. Perfect, we got two more units, Will. Okay. For all my Model G fans, um, we're not gonna show it today. Oh man. Well, we, we just... Can't be up there. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe we do, maybe we do. We're just running out of time. So I know. here's the voltage. Okay. Stick around and maybe, maybe we'll show it. Okay. So double time, Will, maybe he's quick. Okay, nice three cushion sofa there, dinette, kind of that U-shaped kitchen. Of course, it's a toy hauler, so you have a huge garage back here. Nice patio there. This bed drops down up top, nothing electric in here, saving you money and possibly headaches. And then two couches there, turn into a dinette, washer dryer prep here, and a half bath there. You guys can see the entertainment center right there. And then nice toilet, shower, and sink here. And then all the way up front is the master bedroom with the closet on the slide out, queen size bed, second AC unit, all that good stuff. And again, what was that price? Well, no, no, no. It's like, and again. That price is only $69.9. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. Especially for a toy hauler. Right. Now, a toy hauler that's a better brand, in my opinion. Well, and it's not an opinion, but it is a better brand, is the Alliance Valor. Right. But, and then an even better brand is the Model G, okay? Right. But it's not about which one's better, Will. It's about. It's that, about. That value for the price. Is this worth $20,000 more than a voltage. Yeah. To some people it is. And then to other people it isn't. Very nice kitchen island. This is a 3611 will. This is their most popular floor plan. Best seller, ultra quiet garage. Look at the individual D-rings down here. I love this. You got the rear patio, which is fantastic. And you're able to have a washer and dryer and a half bathroom right here. Very nice. And then you come on in here. Again, they changed the countertops yeah. a couple years ago, which was our recommendation. I'm glad they listened. Very nice bathroom, prime poop position. And then nice king size bed. Will, should we show the Model G? Yeah, I'll show it. All right. Oh, actually, I lied. No. We got an open range that we always forget on. And Redwood. Dang. See, where's that music down there? Oh, here we should. Go. Oh, I hear it. Go down here. I'm going to try to find that music. Okay. 79.9. You going to show this? Yep. Okay, 79.9 on this open range. Uh, 379 FBS. Get 799. There's the floor plan. So, back here, nice rear living. You have your dinette, sofa. This is my favorite sofa with the little flip down cushion in the middle. Three cushion <clears throat> sofa in the back. Plenty of storage. Nice TV fireplace. This looks really nice on the inside. Really good kitchen space, solid surface countertops, huge island. Um, only thing I feel like it's missing is a coffee nook, but you're losing that to get this half bath right here. And then coming upstairs, you have a nice king size bed. This is very, very similar to my unit. Double opposing slides. I do like the wood butcher block style shelf. Uh, plenty of storage drawers there. And then up front, yeah, 
This is very much like my unit. You have your um, um, sink on the slide out right here. Nice encore shower. Not quite as big, but still very nice. Good toilet placement, and then it'll be dark up here. But a huge closet. This is probably a little bit bigger than my closet. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what is next. Mm -hmm. And with a little bit of magic, we are inside the 3950. Now there's music playing on the outside, so we're not going to show you any of the outside features. You got your ramp door, you got your garage area, you got your bed set up and everything. And then right here, well, this is that half bath. And wait until we do a video of this, because you see these walls, Will? Yeah. They're not permanent. I know. They move in roof. Right. They zig and zag. We got TV up there. And then in here, this is the super popular floor plan that everybody's been asking about. Yeah. The 3950 with this huge U-shape area. This is absolutely phenomenal. You have a very nice kitchen. Stay in this kitchen, Will. Okay. Good reference. Look how big Will is. <clears throat> and he looks so little in this kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a very nice kitchen in here. Got so there's up. plenty of space. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful here. Doing like all the cool drawers and stuff. Hang on, hang on. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Oh, very nice. So cool. Yeah. They do a good job with all their cabinetry. Well, Brantley does a phenomenal job. I love these table and chairs, you yeah. know? Yeah, for sure. So. Oh, and this one. Oh. Utensils. oh, look at that. Where'd that come from? Right there. Bam. And then. Decent sized bathroom. Not the best. Definitely not the worst. Okay, huge shower right there. That wool is going to have no problem fitting in. And then right over here we have bada bing, bada boom in the master bedroom. But again, this, go, go sit on that sofa, Will. This one? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is a huge sofa. And I think it pops out even one more. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. It does pop out one more. Which I would like that better. Well, pros and cons. Right. Because, like, here... Now everybody's legs are touching. Every, yeah, it's, like, almost too packed. But on the flip side is you pop it out one more, and this is going to get very, very tight coming. You know, it's probably got to come out to here at least, right? Pros and cons. Well, we'll, we'll definitely be discussing this yeah. a lot more once we have our opinionated review on the Model G. Yep. And, well, oh, my gosh. What? Oh no, that's the Brinkley Travel Trailer. I was like, is there more fifth wheels in the next uh, aisle? But guys, that's it. That's the show. Do we take a look at that redwood? Yeah. All right. You know what, guys? We're tired. There's music, but let's quickly walk over and talk over the music and take a final look at this incredible redwood. Now, this unit is expensive, it is. but this is the full timer's dream. Yeah. And let me tell you something. This is a beautiful unit, Will. Yeah, yep. But uh, it is not nearly as beautiful with the lights off as it is with the lights on. Yeah. When the lights are on, you can really get the feel of this. We got a nice sofa back here, theater seats, TV. Look at this fireplace right, right there. I love that. You can definitely tell it's better cabinetry, better countertop. Oh, look at this kitchen. Yeah. All this prep space, and then here's where you're cooking it up. Right. Very nice. Go check out that master bedroom and bathroom well. Okay. Up here you have that um, sink and toilet area. You got closet space here. This bathroom's like kind of weird, but I also kind of like it. You have tons of closet space here and up front there with a laundry hamper. And then it is, it does come with a washer and dryer. And this one, nice king size bed on a tilt -a bed. And then connecting through is that washer, um, I'm sorry, is the shower and the sink right here. So again, this still does connect through. It's just like a little different from the traditional floor plan. I love it. Not only that, Will, this has full body paint. Right. That's a $14,000 option on mm -hmm. the fifth wheel. You know what I'm saying? And you can just tell 
this isn't your traditional fifth wheel. Right. This competes with the DRVs, with yep. the landmarks, yep. you know what I'm saying? With those top of the line units. But Will, it is hard to believe <laughs> that we have this many different brands of fifth wheels. I know. Day one of opening. I agree. Again, we are now open in the Fort Myers area. We're here at the Fort Myers RV show. If you guys see something that you like, click our link down below. Get a member of my team. It doesn't matter where you live, in Fort Myers or anywhere else in the country. Reach out to my team online, and I promise you guys we're going to get you the absolute best price in America on any single brand. Just click our link down below. Drop a comment. Let us know which fifth wheel was your favorite. Again, here's what I like to tell people, okay? That unit, that Brinkley MSRP's at two hundred thousand dollars obviously we have a aggressive sale price on it right but here's what i like to tell people everybody's always like matt which unit would you buy right mm -hmm. if, if you had if money wasn't an option which unit would you buy and that's a horrible question and here's the question that i have for you viewers if you got two hundred thousand dollars which fifth wheel would you buy if you got to keep the change right would you buy the brinkley and have a small small pile of money in the brinkley model g or would you buy that arcadia select at 34.9 but then you have a pile of 150 thousand right. dollars so true because you can go to the same campgrounds same state parks, are you getting or... that much more enjoyment yeah to will will spend 100 grand on his fifth wheel so will would then have 100 grand next to him in a paradigm yeah so it's not about which one's better it's about what's better for that money and that's what we want to hear take two hundred thousand dollars subtract the price of the unit you were looking to get and then you're left with the sum of money which one would you then choose because again agree. if money wasn't an option everybody would be picking the model g or this redwood yeah. right now yeah you know what i'm saying so drop a comment down below let us know which ones you like which ones you dislike and I'm very curious to see how many people comment their answers here. Yeah. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow because it's incredible how many different brands of Class A's we were actually able to get at the Fort Myers store. And if you guys bought, if you guys didn't buy from General RV during the Tampa show, please reach out to our team. Let us check your deal to see if we can get you a better price. See you guys tomorrow.